Ooh, boy. It's been a struggle. I'm telling you, it fought me all the way. Everything from the gas tanks to the front end, putting the new spindles on there, taking the springs out, putting the new springs in there. Man, the B&M shifter worked out really well. It took it around a block. Burnt the hell off the tires off this thing because of the fact they ain't got no weight in the back. I mean, it'll burn a good tire anyway, but look at that stance so far. Look at that front end. Isn't that sexy? That's sexy and you know it. Whew. Next thing to do, start yanking this motor. Get this bed on here whenever I get three friends out here to help me lift this thing up and set it where it needs to be. And hook up those uh, fill tubes and all to the bed. I really like the way it looks so far. I love that front end. I was only a two and a half inch drop. Like I said, I took the three inch drop springs out put stock springs back in it because I didn't like the way it bounced around and put two and a half inch drop spindles in it. It's been a chore. It's been a long journey so far. I'm tired. I'm real tired. I like the way it looks. I really like the way it looks. Get a bed on it. It should be about level, maybe a little lower in the front. Maybe. It was pretty even when I started. Yep, so I go in there now and start cleaning up that rear end and get it over Willie's Willie's Customs over there in Inwood, West Virginia. Let him build my rear end. Yep, let him pack my rear end full of goodies. Yep, complete posi unit, posi carrier, 373 gears. I'll go nice with my 2000 stall shifter, shift kit, shifter. Everything else that goes along with it. Whew, man, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm gonna go chill off for a little bit outside with the air conditioner. But I just wanted to show y'all where I was at. Show you where I was at. There's my new shifter in the floor. Isn't that nice? I got RPM tack coming. I already got it in the house. Cause when I set this flat tap it cam, I'm gonna have to use it. Cause I don't have one in here right now. Yeah, the bed's waiting to go. I actually got my motor running on my <laughs> on my motor on my boat. So yesterday, I figured out it was the carburetor. I, put, I replaced the impeller because it wasn't working and all that, and it wouldn't stay running in neutral. It wouldn't idle without the choke being pulled out. So I watched a couple of videos and I said, hey, I think I can fix it. So I took the carburetor out, which was no, no fun. It wasn't real hard. Getting it back in there was a pain in the ass with the gasket and everything. But I mean, it's tight spaces. You know how it is. But I got it. I got it all put back together. I couldn't get it to start. Like I said, I sprayed everything out in the carburetor. Just cleaned it out and everything else and decided, decided it was going to work. Put it all back together. Couldn't get it to fire up. Fired up for a second with some starting fluid. That was about it. I went and told the wife, she kind of laughed. And he said, uh -huh. that sucks, Terry, that you put all that time into it. And now it even runs worse than it did beforehand. But I said, it's either that or there's so much cleaning fluid still left up in the carburetor that it won't run. So I came out here this morning, right before I started messing with the truck. Thing fired up, it idled, and everything else. So the next thing is going to be take that trash can, bring my hose over here, fill up some water in it, set up underneath that motor. I'm really gonna test it. Yep, really gonna test it. Well, they're repaving our new road out here and I just did the last official burnout before they paved it. I did a really nice one, everybody's watching. You know, they've been they've been up and down the street, Jefferson County, West Virginia. They've been up and down the street watching. Uh, I know they've been watching what I've been doing. They've been seeing me work really, really hard. Seeing this truck sitting out here with a bunch of, a bunch of stuff laying around it. Everything you need, uh, everything you need. So in a minute, I'm gonna bring my front end loader, a little tractor over here and load all my tools, all my tools. This thing turned into a work table. I'll take them all back in the shop and put them all away again because I'm not gonna be doing nothing else with that truck out here. Nope. I mean, I might pull the motor, but I'm gonna start that later. And uh, I wanna get everything organized. It's really a mess out here. 
See? Now they're not far from coming right across the, down the street in front of my house. I'm going to do the first official burnout. I'm going to take my truck right out there as soon as they're done and gone for the day. And do the longest burnout I can do. Yep. Sure am. Look. Appreciate you guys watching. I really do. If you're watching the video of this updated 86 Chevrolet square body C10 two wheel drive. If you like that, tell me what you think. If I should put a three inch drop on this. I think I should. I think I should. That way I can replace the ball joints and tie rods and everything. 210,000 miles, it runs like a top. It needs some new suspension parts. So while I'm at it, just change the spindles, put some blocks in the back. Ain't nothing to it, right? Right, that's right. Oh, tired. Anyway, thanks y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Speak to you later. Have a great day.